Hi, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist and today we will know how the energy bands are formed in a semiconductor. So to understand this concept, uh, we will see the diagram of uh, a, an atom. So let's draw this diagram. This is the nucleus of the atom and around this nucleus these are the orbits where the electron revolves okay so this nucleus contains protons and neutrons and here we have electrons two electrons here and one two three four five six seven and eight let's say eight electrons are in the second orbit and do you know how to fill the number of electrons in any orbit it follows the 2n square rule where n is equals to the number of orbit or the shell so here it is n is equals to 1 this is n equals to 2 if you place n equals to 1 here then it gives you 2 and if you replace it with 2 then 2 into 2 square will be equals to 8 so the outermost orbit has the second orbit has eight no, eight electrons so if you want to calculate the energy of uh, any electron in any atom so you need this formula you can use this formula energy is equal to minus 13.6 z square by n square here z is the atomic number okay z is the atomic number and n is the number of shell okay whether it is n equals to one two or three anything so with this uh, formula you can find the energy of an electron in electron volts which unit is electron volts so you can understand it that as n increases it implies that energy also increases how because as the n will increase this magnitude of this uh, of this uh, will decrease okay so it will become less negative so ultimately energy will increase so with increasing n e increases so uh, as per this uh, formula electrons in same orbit of any element have equal energy so if the z is same and n is same then the electrons will have the same energy so now let's talk uh, about a crystal of a semiconductor as we know it has a very large number of atoms having electrons of their own in any crystal you will have a large number of electrons so here I am drawing two atoms uh, I am taking an example of two uh, atoms of a crystal the energy of a first electron will be given in nth orbit and of zth uh, atomic number will be denoted by this and e2 will be minus 13.6 z2 square by n2 square but if 
value of uh, z1 is equals to z2 means the same element since the element is same having the uh, same uh, atomic number is uh, here so the element will be same and also n1 is equals to n2 the number of shell is also sh uh, is also same so we can say that energy 1 is equals to energy 2 but in actual in a crystal energy 1 is not equals to energy 2 even if z1 equals to z2 and n1 equals to n2 but how does this happen why does this happen you need to know this even you got it in a crystal if n and z are both same even then even may not be equal will not be equal to e2 because uh, as both these atoms have a different arrangement of uh, atoms okay uh, around them both of uh, these atoms will have different arrangement of atoms around them uh, because uh, in uh, any crystal the as per the location of that atom uh, in the crystal there will be some forces uh, uh, from uh, many sides from uh, various sides on that atom so it will change the energy okay so let me explain it with the help of diagram let's suppose this is a crystal okay and I have two atoms this is the atom one and let's say this uh, is the atom 2 so there will be unequal and unsymmetrical pattern of interatomic forces on both of these electrons as you can see here there will be lots of interatomic forces on this atom in this pattern but the pattern of this force these forces will be somewhat in this manner and there is a, you can see unsymmetry in the various forces on this atom so the overall, ef overall effect will be such that the energy of these atoms the ele energy of the electrons in these atoms will not be identical even if we talk about the same uh, since uh, z1 since z for both of these is same as this is the same crystal of any element and also if we talk about any electron of any orbit then in that case also the energy will not be same because of this unsymmetrical and unequal distribution of interatomic forces so the electrons of different uh, so electrons of different atoms in the crystal that are in same orbit have very close difference of energies okay so they make a band of energy having very close energies hence an energy band is formed in the crystal so did you get this point let's uh, write this
the electrons of different atoms in the crystal in the crystal that are in same orbit it means z and n are same so have that are in the same orbit have very close difference very close difference of energies of energies so they make so they make a band of energy a band of energy having okay so a band of energy will be formed having a which will have very close energies having very close energies hence uh, energy band will be formed with the same number of uh, with the same n and z okay so i hope it was uh, clear to you if you even have any doubt about this concept please feel free to write your queries in the comments and please don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy for getting updates of uh, my latest new upcoming lecture videos that's all for today thank you for watching